My name is Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a senior physician in Stanford Hospital uh, in Kaikondrahalli, Bangalore. I have done my uh, specialization in internal medicine. Tuberculosis uh, is a very common infectious disease in the country. And nowadays we have also noticed that we are dealing with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. So when a question comes to a doctor saying that, you know, the person has finished the treatment of tuberculosis a while back and has been asked for various reasons to continue the treatment, it actually opens a battery of questions. And the most important question today in the society and which the doctor fraternity is struggling is the compliance of the patient. Because tuberculosis is such a disease if it is treated correctly, if it is treated adequately and the compliance of the patient is good, we can actually treat tuberculosis completely before it actually develops into complications or it enters into a multi-drug resistant tuberculosis category. Now when we talk about continuing anti-TB drug therapy in a patient who has already surpassed his last tenure or his last uh, dose of anti-TB, there must be a good reason that there is not enough number of days or number of medicines which are given because anti-TB drug therapy is a combination, is a regime, it is not just one drug or two drugs. There are various drugs which have to be given in combination, which have to be titrated and which and there is a guideline to decide how to give this. Therapy. So there are good many reasons why an anti-drug, anti-TB drug therapy should be prolonged. Well, mostly we have come across those patients who actually have done well when they had taken their previous course of TB, TB therapy, but they have not been completely cured. So a doctor, to his discretion, decides that this regime of anti-drug therapy, anti-TB drug therapy should be continued for an X number of weeks or months or even the doctor can decide to his discretion whether he can change the drugs of the previous regime and put a new drug in the regime for the same patient. So I think it is very important to decide on the facts by doing certain investigations. And the doctor is quite sure about himself when he decides to prolong the treatment. The first course of therapy itself, if there have been no complications and if the patient is doing well and is in the way of progress, then there are very less chances that the patient develops complications of anti-TB drug therapy if it is prolonged. The probabilities are less because the patient has been, has, has been responsive. The patient has shown progress in its first phase of treatment. But yes, definitely there are other factors. If the drug seems to be a little toxic, if the patient's metabolism is not uh, compatible, the patient may develop complications of anti-TB drug therapy. But it is difficult to say in one shot or it's difficult to say in a, in a few days that the complications are uh, many because the drug therapy has been prolonged. It has to be investigated, it has to be followed up and there are a lot of exclusion criteria which the doctor has to do to decide where the complications have come from.